Angelica House God Baptist uh, Center. I'm Sister Tanya. I'm Sister Sheba. And we are going to be bringing the Sunday School for this morning. Lord, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for the word that you're going to bring forth. Thank you, Lord God, that it will be edification for your people. Help us to have the word in our hearts, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the words to say. Whatever you speak to us, help us to speak it to your people. Not adding anything to it, nor taking anything away from it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And the scripture reads as, Then Jesus told his disciples a, a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Mm. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea. Grant me justice against my adversary. Mm. For some time he refused. But finally he said to himself, even though I do not fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for, for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Mm. So this week I went through uh, a text. And you have to know as a parent, you got to be in the right standing with God. So that if something happened or something come about, you got a line. And so when my child came to me in distress, I, the first thing I thought to do was pray. The Lord said, listen, then pray. So when, you know, she came to me in distress and, and I, I, I was upset, but in, the, in my knower, I knew that God was going to vindicate this situation. All right. I prayed for her, and I prayed for me. I said, Lord, y'all, persistence. <laughs> How about if you, when you was little, and your mama said no, but you, you did a few chores around the house. You cleaned up a little bit. You went and asked again, and the no turned into a maybe. You kept doing your good diligence and you kept doing your good work and you was persistent. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the no turned into a yes. All right. That's how it is with God. He said you're going to be faithful with some things. Now, if there's something that's going to hang you, he ain't going to give it to you. No that's way. right. Mm -hmm. But when you are persistent in your prayer life, you are persistent with your walk, you are persistent in what God has told you to do, it ain't nothing that he won't defend you on. It ain't nothing that he won't come and see about you on. All right. And so that's what the Lord was dealing with me about this week is persistence. First with him mm -hmm. and, and what he tell me to do, how he tell me to act, how he tell me to pray, how he tell me to fast, and how he tell me to be involved. How, when to take my hands off, when to keep my hands in. It's all about listening to God and, and being persistent with him. Persistence and consistency. Is what he was dealing with me about today. All right. And for me, I think I cut you off. There we go. Uh, for me, I was praying, and while I was praying, I was reading. And you know, back in the day, they had the AOL thing. Mm -hmm. Got me. I was like, okay. 
I got mail. What is the mail? Because I'm, I, the Lord is teaching me not to be so quick to do things, but to pray first Amen. and Woo! listen on his answer. Yeah. Okay? Listen to what he has to say, because I'm a go-getter. I'm a go-getter. When I see an opportunity and I'm like, oh, I knew I couldn't do this by myself, I jump and do it. But the Lord is showing me, slow down. Wait a minute. Don't be so quick. Wait on me. I will show you the wind blowing in the tree. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go to James 1. And this is James with Justin. James 1, verse 19. And it says, My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For this man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which, which can save you. So, for me, this week, the Lord is just dealing with me. Listen. You ever heard that phrase, think twice, speak once? So while I'm listening, I'm praying. And I'm asking the Lord, okay, you show me what it is I need to speak, or let me hear what it is this person is trying to tell me, so that I can respond in a way that you would have me to respond. Because sometimes, y'all, to know me is to know that I don't fool with everybody. I can associate, I can hide, I can show love, but just to be, you know, just because I, I don't tolerate a lot. And the Lord is showing me, because there was this one situation where I was like, I don't even want to fool this person. Every time I come around, they just want attention, 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 blah, 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 blah. And the Lord said, um, excuse me, remember, you haven't always been where you are, and you still got a long way to go. Okay, you know, he checked me right there. Okay, so I listened and I prayed while I was listening, and the Lord gave me some things to say. And as he gave me those things to say, I could see the person. I'm starting to understand, oh, wait, so if I do this, 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 they were getting comprehension with what they were going through. So I tell you this, and it might be comical to you, or it might not be for you, but for those that it is for, listen. And while you're listening, pray and ask the Lord to give you wisdom and help you discern on what you need to see, hear, and speak. Can I, can I say something? Yes, ma'am. See, the, the, the judge, the king, knew this lady's character. Evidently, he had dealt with her before. And he knew that she was persistent. And he was going to have to give her some kind of answer. And he knew that maybe she was a woman of God. Maybe, maybe not. But he knew what she was going to do. She wasn't, even with, with, with the child, Tanya, you were saying, the child was doing everything he could or she could to, to get approval. You got to work sometimes for things that you want. And when our children know that if I don't do this, if I was looking at something on, 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 on uh, YouTube where the man and his wife went out to eat dinner, and when they got home, he kept, went in the room to tell the son, uh, we back, he said, hey, Dad, did, did, did Mama, did y'all bring me some food? And the man said, honey, did you? bring him some food. Oh, you told me to remind you. And he said, she said, I forgot. And so when, when, when he said to the son, son, your mama, we forgot. Probably like you forgot to clean up your room when we asked you. Uh, but uh, it'll be all right to tomorrow. That's what the son told the dad. I'll get it tomorrow. But he would the, the dad didn't fuss at him, he didn't do nothing, but he used that moment, instead of fussing and telling his son off, 
he used that moment uh, as a teachable moment for the son. If you don't want to do what I tell you to do, then I'm not going to do what you ask me to do. And so, and, and, and like you said with yourself, the Lord said, listen, you may not want to talk to the person that's coming to talk to you, but you need to listen like I listen to you. Right, right. See, we got so many people now, they'll say, I don't have to be bothered with it. But you don't know, it may not be you having to be bothered with it, but what about your child? Because if it don't happen to you, what did the Lord tell uh, uh, David? He said, I'm not gonna discipline you for what you did, but I'm gonna discipline your children. It's gonna fall on your children. So I learned to say, Lord, don't let what I do fall on my children. Right. I, you know, and when I thought about what I said, Ooh. But Lord, I don't, I love my children enough to say, Lord, chastise me. Because they didn't do it. So, with the unjust judge, he knew this woman is persistent. She ain't gonna leave me alone, and I'll be done did something that I regret. Mm -hmm. You saying, the Lord said, that person that you're going to, to Sheba, mm -hmm. maybe God trying to teach you something. Mm -hmm out of what they're doing, the aggravation. Mm -hmm. Have you ever run up on somebody that just aggravate you to no end and you say to yourself, mm -mm, I ain't for that today. Uh -uh, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, today is your day right. to get delivered right. from what, from that you angry with them because it's something you used to do. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's like the lady told me when we was at the doctor's office and you was showing out. Oh, you was showing out. And I said, okay. And I grabbed your hand and I was in, I was going to take you in the bathroom and the lady said, ma'am, an older woman, she said, ma'am, stop trying to beat out of her what was in you. Mm. And I said, ma'am, she said, deal with it the way it should have been dealt with with you. And that I stopped in my track and she said, most parents want their children to be better than they were, but they don't know how to teach them because they wouldn't talk. So you have the opportunity to say to her, you got, you got to talk to her and tell her what, what response she'll get if she keep on doing that. And if you tell her what comes after her disobedience, maybe she'll sit down. And so, I didn't, I didn't bother you that day. So I, when we was in the car, guess what I said? Wherever you show out, that's what I'm gonna get you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. And I said, you got away with it this time because I'm gonna listen to what that lady said. And so when I started doing that, when we went somewhere, y'all didn't show out. A lot of people said, you got a light little soldier. But well, guess what? My children are still soldiers, but they ain't in jail. Right. So you persist that you love your children. You they're beautiful to you. But there's discipline that's gotta be done. And it's not always with the hand or a switch or a bell. Right. Sometimes that persistent is, I'm gonna warn you. And I noticed Nia, when she tells Kalea to do something, she goes, one, two. And at three, she's going to get them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we need to count it down. Okay. And so let me go back to um, the parable. Um, chapter four, um, verse four says, for some time he refused. Mm. So she went to him persistent. Okay. And he refused for a while. Mm. But finally he said to himself, even though I don't feel God, I only feel her God. I don't even care what nobody thinks. Um, he said, yet yeah, because the widow keeps bothering me. All right. She mm. keeps bothering me. That thing with that person keeps bothering you. Mm -hmm. It keeps bothering you. And he said, I will see that she get justice. I'm going to yeah. see that everything is done right. So that she won't eventually come and attack me. All right. So that she won't be persistent when somebody 
I kind of thought about it when you said that it troubled him. Yet, I, I don't fear your God, but yet you trouble me. And yet, I'm going to give you justice. Because the thing about it is, is she kept coming. And he kept saying, sooner or later, I got to deal with this. I don't fear God, but yet she still coming. If I don't deal with it rightly and give her justice, what's going to happen to me? It's going to cause me to worry that I didn't do it right. It's coming now. Yeah. But yes, you still come. Mm. Now I'm going to give you justice. I'm going to give you what you do. And sometimes, when we, sometimes like you said, when we're praying, God, heal. Mm. God, would you deliver me when you set me free? Kind of saying, oh, you didn't hear me. Mm. Well, I think it was a person. Mm. Because the more I'm persistent, the more I'm going to catch your ear. Mm. Now, this man really wanted to be healed. This woman wanted to be set free. They persisted. It's just like God said, it's in your praise. And you don't just pray one day, you continue praising. Yeah. You continue lifting that thing up before Him. I'm persistent to the death. Lord, I ain't quitting. Till I hear from you. Yeah, exactly. And then when I hear from you, I'm still going to praise you. And the Lord going to say, you know, he, he's persistent. He want this thing so bad that he's willing to give up everything else to, to stay on his knees, to stay before me and praise me and pray for me. He's being persistent. Not only is he persistent, but he's committed to what he's doing. I'm seeking justice. And I want, sometimes you got to go, sometimes when you go to court, everybody ain't saved, everybody ain't right. But if I keep going before him, mm -hmm. I'm going to get my justice. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah. So, as you were saying, you know, the judge was saying he wasn't, he, the man would say he wasn't, he didn't believe in God, he didn't fear God or anything like that. How many times do we pray and we say, God, you do it, I don't care how you do it, just do it. But then we looking for the answer to come through people who we think are perfect. We looking for the answer to come through someone, well, I didn't expect that from them. It doesn't matter if they got it right or not. If God is going to use them, we have to be willing to accept whoever he's going to use. He said, I don't believe in your God. I don't believe in giving you justice. I don't believe in, I don't care how you think about me. But yet, when we pray, we want God to use those people who, who we think, I want them to think highly of me. I want them to believe you, God. I want them... God is saying, but those who believe me, they'll always listen to me. Oh, right. oh. Those who, who think you want to think highly of you, don't always want the best for you. Yeah. Right. That's right. 
So sometimes he has to use that unlikely person to answer your prayer. So when he was saying, I don't care who your God is, I don't care how people think about you, but God was saying, but you will listen to me. You will do what I tell you to do. You may not recognize it as being me, but you will be obedient. So we have to look at, when we say, God, do this for me. Don't limit God on how he can do it. Right. Just say, God, do it, and make sure my heart is open and willing to accept whoever and however you bless me Amen. and answer this prayer. Amen. 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 Because you can look look for it coming one way, but the Lord will come a different way. So when you do pray, Lord, answer me, show me, I, open my eyes so that I can see it when you show me. Open my ears so I can hear it when you show me. That way, that way I'm not putting a limitation on God. Because God is unlimited. Stop looking for perfection in imperfect people. Uh. Why would you do that? They're not God. So however, when they say, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get it right. Any, listen, when the Lord sent him, uh, I done been through enough. Mm -hmm. I done seen and kissed enough frogs. Nah. When the Lord sent him, <laughs> and the Lord tell me he read, uh. Ooh, I can wait. Cause I'm gonna be satisfied. Because I know what the Lord has put in me. I know who I am. I've been through enough experience. Life has taught me some things. I've been pressed down, and the Lord has the oil has come out. So therefore, when the Lord sends him. When the Lord sends him, not at all put him on the pedestal because I know who God is in my life. Yeah. I know where to place him when he gets here, but when the Lord sends him, what? I'll be satisfied. I don't know how that went. Okay. And you know what? <laughs> he may look like the frog. Right. But he's not the frog. Exactly. See, the enemy will send an imitation. Mm -hmm. and, and the imitation may look like what God is going to see. And you got to say, Lord, don't let me look at him through my natural eye. Right. But let me look at him through your eyes. Right. Remember, Mama used to tell us, Mama Doctor used to say, we used to say, Mama, how did you love him? He was so abusive and mean and said things. And she said, when my love ran out, God love took over. So um, Lord, help me to love him with your love. Cause my love ran out. And, 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 and cause we would ask mama different things. Mama, how did you do that? How did you take this? And she would give us the same response. When my love ran out, the Lord love took over. So whatever, and, 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 and you know, we was looking at the natural, but out of all that he done, she saw the best in him. When everybody else around him didn't see, uh, he wasn't even worth talking to. But she saw the best in him. And at the latter day, it may be the last minute, but salvation came. It didn't, when it came, she was satisfied with that last little bit of salvation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we thank God I came yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's tomorrow for you because if he came yesterday, you wouldn't know how to have it. Right. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the unjust judge would have gave her the answer right away, mm -hmm. she really wouldn't have had a testimony. Right. If God answered you right now, you won't have a testimony. But when you go through something, mm -hmm. and they say, how did you do it? I, I, listen, I cried. People look at you sometimes. And one girl told me, she said, I ain't like you. I got to have a man. Mm -hmm. I said, 
I'm just like you. I cry my pillow too. But then I realize who my man is. And when I realized who my, all the time when I had a fleshly man, I couldn't keep a house, couldn't keep a car, couldn't keep nothing. And then when God stepped in play, he gave me more than one house, more than one car. So guess who I'm going to lean on now? I'm going to lean on the one that can do better for me than I can do for myself. It's not about the flesh. It's a spiritual woman. So when you, the unjust judge, he said, she vexed me. She aggravates me. And he just, good example. One girl, I went and asked her to borrow some money for lunch. And she said, him. And my friend, uh, Janella, said to me, I wouldn't have took it. I said, I don't care how she give it to me. I'm full now. It's after lunch. I done ate my food. And I'm going to give her money back. She said, but just she talk about you. I said, it does not matter. I'm satisfied. Learn to be satisfied. If they throw $100 on the ground, I said, here, take that. Are you going to be so prideful that you walk away from it? Or are you going to humble yourself? Take that money and go pay your light bill because I got children at home. And if I'm hungry, I can't think of how to feed them. Hallelujah. Humble will feed you many days. It will pay your bills many days. The unjust judge will give it to you, but you still got it. They ain't had to go through the fire, but he still got his victory. The lion had been, but he still got his victory. Some people are in the lion then. And they know, and, and what they say, if God don't <clears throat> deliver me, I know he can. Yeah. And I think that the Lord is trying to persistently teach us how to love persistently like him. That's why he give us people like us. Like us. <laughs> so that we can see how he loved us through it. And he's just showing us this is how it felt when I loved you through it. It's his persistency. Yeah. Ain't you glad that he didn't give up on us like Come man on. did? Oh. Come on. Because they'll throw us away. They'll get tired of us. I am not putting up with her no more. Because she could just pick herself up, do this, do that, right. and come on. Right. Hey, what are you saying? That, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it. It's because this message is for me this morning. I don't, it's a hard thing to keep trying to persistently and consistency, consistently love somebody who tests your love at every point, who tests your patience at every point. It is, so this message was for me this morning. And sometimes I don't care who, who like me or who don't like me. To keep you from bothering me, let me just go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she come. Here she come. Just go ahead and give it to her because I don't want to hear her. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. The Lord is just trying to teach us how to persistently love people like he persistently loves us. And one thing that Bishop said when Grandma said, when my love ran out, I had to love him with the love of God, with the love of Christ. We gotta ask God to do that for us. Yeah. With many people. Yeah. Cause sometimes my love will run out. Yeah. I mean, it, I know my love. <laughs> it's not sometimes. I'm guilty. I listen. I have to love. I pray every morning. Lord, let me love people and treat them people the way you would have me to treat them, the way you would treat them. Because I don't want to abuse or bruise anybody. So I have to pray this every morning because I know me, okay? Sometimes my little week is real short. My temperament is real short with people. But I have to pray and ask the Lord, show me and help me to love people and treat people the way you would have me treat And that's the mail that I received this week from the Lord. And I'm still marinating on it. And it's still working in my heart. 